Hello, I'm Kevin Connor. I represent Geb of 501c3. And uh, what you're looking at is code for Torah board game made in Unity. I'm specifically targeting uh, Discord, but I, you know, once I get this code done, I'm going to do my best to put it on all platforms. This is the WebGL build. Now, I have uh, three patents in Torah, protections in two countries. Uh, six languages successfully translated. Uh, French needs um, actual translation. Um, the uh, the board game has been a work of mine for the last 15 plus years. I've had a couple of very small successful Kickstarters and also sold a few boards at a couple of conventions. People who play it really enjoy it. It targets the demographic of people who uh, like chess but can't play chess. Uh, chess is very focused on move, counter move, memorization. This game is not. It's the exact opposite. People who do really well in chess tend to struggle with this game. People who don't do well in chess tend to excel in this game. So this game offers something for people who can't really get it elsewhere. Um, what you're looking at is uh, the accumulation of the last four days of my work to consolidate the code and to freshen it up to make it uh, more pliable. Uh, in the left hand side of the screen here you will see a lot of old code, a lot of things that I have worked on over the past uh, year plus. Um, having to take some breaks, etc., etc., etc. Some of these aren't, aren't my code, but there we go. This is definitely my code. Oh, test board, pixels, um, all of these prefabs. Uh, yeah, so you're seeing a lot of work. Uh, over the last year and uh, obviously I'm working to make it better I'm working to make it a success the purpose of this board game as with all intellectual property with Geb is to raise money for uh, the environment conservation education uh, you know non-political ideals of making sure that where we live is a good place, making sure that we're, you know, kids get, have access to education, they, they can expand their minds, uh, you know, abstract strategy board games inherently help the uh, prefrontal cortex develop. And the idea is to partner with other organizations, uh, to have ter online tournaments, etc, etc, etc. So, the last four days I've been working to consolidate a lot of code that looks like this, which was functional and still functional, into uh, controllers that are not located on the unit. And believe it or not, it took some quite a bit of uh, refreshing to go in there because this code right here, the old code, was mostly focused on archers. This code is more uh, open for other game types that I plan on exploring and patenting and copywriting as well as uh, other um, you know uh, other uh, units and stuff like that so uh, this is uh, well let me just show you let me go ahead and turn the C code off here. So I've worked very hard over the last 15 years to make this game, um, pr to protect this game, make it functional, to help raise money. Uh, I've been successful in a, in a small way and I'm trying to expand to make it successful in a large way. Uh, so not only can Geb grow, but for projects that I'm focusing on to grow. So this is directly on the game 
scene as opposed to the title scene. This allows you to choose your positions, aggressive, defensive. Let's go ahead and do this. This area here, uh, unit info, upper left hand corner, you can cycle through, teaches you about the archer, uh, language neutral uh, guides, and of course YouTube link. Uh, over here, the game is started, turn one is the challenger. This is as far as I've gotten with revisiting the code. Uh, bright uh, green indicator and all of that good stuff. It disappears when you're on a friendly piece, obviously indicating that you can't move there. Cancel button cancels it. Change the turn. Now I'm in opposition. This is the old code. Now the old old code wasn't as intuitive and also had a little bug here. As you can see when you click, try to click on the mini buttons, sometimes you can't click on the mini buttons. Oh wow, this piece already moved so. The attack uh, button sometimes want to activate because the collider was interfering. That bug has been fixed with the new code. But this is how it would the old code worked. Movement. And then I could move up here to attack. And then attack and take that piece. But I'm going to cancel that. Instead I'm going to attack from a distance. No indication. It just happens. Which is fine if you already know the game. But uh, the point is to make it more intuitive, which is part of the whole revisiting of the code. So, uh, let's see here. Let me also show another thing that I did with the code. There we go. Oh, that is a bug that no longer exists with the new code. <laughs> um... Anyway, you see, let's see here. Like I said, this is another reason why I needed to revisit the code. There we go. All right, now let's go over here and look at this. This code, this movement code, also changes. You can see it changes red if it's an enemy. And the whole purpose, the whole idea is that this indicator gives you a hint on what you can do and what you can't do. So that is my coding update. Um, sorry it wasn't too exciting. Uh, I do believe strongly in this board game. I have been working very hard over the last 15 years to make it happen. I've gone through two developers who were unable to complete the project or see it through. Uh, so I'm doing it on my, I wouldn't say on my own, uh, I'm doing it as the primary with a very wonderful individual who has taken his expertise and time to help uh, teach me how to make my code better and how to make this a reality. He's been doing AAA games since the 90s. Absolutely fantastic individual. I won't be this far along without him. Uh, while I can finish it from here on, uh, I'm thankful that he is willing to to see me through this project and help me on my uh, quest to make this dream a reality to help everybody worldwide. Have a wonderful day. Take care.